What's up, big time gang? Jason Taylor, limited edition, Invicta Chaos. This is my first chaos. This is what uh, got me into uh, wanting this piece was this bracelet. I like the way it starts so wide at the lugs and then uh, it tapers. And it actually is really beefy in the beginning here. And then it gets really, really thin which is uh, not something I can say I like, but uh, I definitely like the beefiness in the beginning. And uh, the tapered part, well, that's all right. I can deal with that. But it's a good looking watch and it actually fits well on my wrist. I thought it was to be a little small because it measures in at 50 millimeters, but uh, it's actually not too small. So I've never uh, owned a Chaos before. So I'm not really sure how many links to take out. So uh, we're gonna size this bad boy and I'm gonna take out two links, one on each side, see how that fits and then go from there. So um, enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the sizing. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description. MS bead bracelets. Mention Tommy Big Time, get a buy one, get one free offer. Link in the description. Alright, so we're gonna size this bad boy now. And uh like I always say the arrows. I'm pretty sure this is a rolled pin or cotter pin type um, bracelet. So the arrow isn't the way the pin goes in, but the way you hit the pin out. So you want to make sure that you this the arrow is facing down and you hit the pin out in that direction. So we're starting at 12 o'clock. We are going to get rid of one pin. So I've, I gotta knock two pins loose. And it's definitely a cutter pin because those things came out really easily. Okay, so two pins out, one link removed. Put the bracelet back together and I'm not gonna finalize anything right now. So now you wanna put the pin in opposite the way you hit it out. So as you can see here, if I can get that to focus. There's a wider side towards my palm and a narrow side towards my end of my index finger. So you wanna put the wider side in at the back and the narrow side in first opposite the way you hit it out so we're gonna go flip it over Ooh. so we're gonna flip it over and go in the opposite way we hit it out so now that's in there give it a little love tap just so it doesn't fall back out and for now we're gonna leave it just like that because I'm not sure how many links I'm gonna to have to take out of this bad boy. So now we're gonna do the six o'clock side, follow the arrows. I'm 
trying to do this from a different angle for you guys. And uh, it's a little tricky for me to uh, see what I'm doing. And I keep bumping the camera. But I'm doing more of like a first person view now. So I've got the camera between me and the watch. So it's a little more difficult. So if I look a little sloppy, I'm sorry. But uh, I'm working with uh, trying to make it better for you guys to see. So this is my first one. And this tripod I'm using has a little arm on it, which uh, gets in my way right now with my right hand. So every time I bump it and you see the camera shake, it's because I'm hitting that uh, arm on the tripod. Okay. So that's two pins out. Wrist check real quick. Rose gold and gold, or rose gold and yellow gold. Grand Octane, of course, on the wrist, Swiss made, reserve piece. All right, let's take this bad boy off and put the chaos on and see where we're at for sizing wise. So it's still very loose. I need to take at least one more out. Now you can see I still got a little play. And I like my watch loose. Everybody will probably criticize the fact that I wear my watch down on my hand, I don't wear it up high on my wrist like most people do like that. That's just not my style. I've always worn a watch loose and I think that's probably back in the day when I used to wear them loose because I didn't know how to size my own watch. And so I just deal with the way it fit. And uh, it's become the norm to me now to where wearing a watch tight up, on, up high on my wrist just isn't comfortable. So, we're going to take one more out of the 12 o'clock side. I'm trying to get that the best angle for you. Without my hand being in the way, which is almost nearly impossible. That's a little better, huh? Let's do a wrist check one more time. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to work right there. A little snug to go over my hand, which is a good sign. Perfect. So I size it just like I size my Grand Octanes. Two out of the 12 o'clock, one out of the 6 o'clock. So that'll work. Now we're going to button up all the links. So I'm just intrigued by this bracelet. I really like the way this bracelet looks. That's what got me to want that piece. Just because of that. I mean, the watch itself is cool looking, but that bracelet. I don't know, something about the, uh, the screw in big uh, screws that hold this first three links together. It's got a really killer look. And I've been seeing chaos from Imperius and uh, and Invicta alike for a long time, and never was interested. And then uh, I don't know if it's a color combo on this one or what it was that caught my eye, but uh, I had to have it. So if you're just tuning in, be sure to uh, smash that subscribe button. I'm doing a giveaway at 1,501 subscribers. And uh, if you'd like to be part of it, you got to be a subscriber. I'd also like for you to join my group, Big Ass Watches, which is a watch of the day group. We're always posting what we're wearing for the day. There's a lot more to it, but uh, that's the basis of the group. Okay. Alright, so I'm not, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put photos before the sizing or after. So, uh, stay tuned. If you already saw the photos and obviously they're not coming again, 
If you haven't, stay tuned and we'll see the photos here close here shortly. Have a great day. Let's give you the limited number right now. 687 out of 999 limited edition. And it's model number 26417. And some sites say it's 52 millimeters, some say it's 50. I don't know, it fits me good, so I think it's more of a 52 millimeter, but that's just me. 50 always looks really tiny on me because I'm used to uh, my 56 millimeters. Anyway, have a great day. God bless.